Some years ago, a student solved this question and saying the answer is 20 divided by 2 multiplied by 5 divided by 2. He solved this by saying this is 20 divided by 10, where he says 2 multiplied by 5 is 10 divided by 2. And he got this as saying 20 divided by 10. He got this as 2 divided by 2. And he concluded his final answer is 1. Why another student solved this question, which is 20 divided by 2 multiplied by 5 divided by 2, solved this question as saying, this is 20 divided by 2. He got this as 10. 10 multiplied by 5 divided by 2. And 10 multiplied by 5, he got this as 50 divided by 2. And his final answer is 25. Out of these two students, who do you think is correct? Student 1 or 2? I believe strongly most people will choose one, but the correct answer for this is 25. Why? Because math can be very complex and with that, if there is no order of operation, there won't be a proper way to solve mathematics, we will all get a different answer. So with this, this acronym was brought up, which is called PEMDAS. Bringing up PEMDAS, where P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. And with this, it says that A comes before X, but still addition and subtraction has the same strength. It has the same power. Alright. And with PEMDAS, we know that when we have 30 minus 5 plus 3, First student solved this as saying this is 5 plus 3 and he got 8 and he said 30 minus 8 which gave him 22. Why the second student solved this as 30 minus 5 plus 3 which he says 30 minus 5 which gave him 25. 25 plus 3 which gave him 28. Second student is correct because in order of operation we solve from left to right because addition and subtraction has the same power so we solve from left to right so the correct answer for this question is 25 and i hope you learned something for this video if you did like subscribe and tell me what you think in the comment section bye take care of yourself